Hi, we are back with another video on how does the internet work. Before we deep dive, please make sure you subscribe to Scalers YouTube channel and don't forget to turn on the bell notification icon. If you have any doubts, feel free to drop a comment below. How does the internet work? The internet is a significant part of our lives, no matter if it's children, adolescence or adult life. We need the internet for carrying almost every work of our lives. But if you're new to the concept of the internet and never used one, this must be a whole new piece of information for you and quite confusing as well. In this video, we will tell you the most basic facts about the internet and how it works. You will also know about its history, advantages and other information. What is the internet? The internet is a global system of computer networks that connects billions of computers and electronic devices together. With the help of the internet, anyone from any place can easily access desired information and communicate with one another. The only thing the person has to do is to connect to the internet, to the computer, also known as going online. So when someone says the computer is online, it means the computer is connected to the internet. To go into depths, the internet can be divided into three basic parts. First, the last mile. It is that part of the internet that lets small businesses and homes connect to the internet. Second, data center. It is a room full of servers that support online apps and store data. Data centers are supported by high-speed internet to allow the system to serve many users at a time. Also, one can locate this center in any part of the world. However, it is mainly installed in remote areas where electricity and land are cheap. Third, the backbone. This part of the system contains long distance networks, mainly made of the fiber optic cables. It transports data from data centers to the required consumer. What is the web? The web or the World Wide Web is a collection of multiple websites accessed via the internet. In simple words, the website is a design that contains images, text and other related resources. It can look like a newspaper article to you or a TV program. On the other hand, it can also be interactive in a way that is still unique to computers. Moreover, the purpose of the website depends from company to company. For example, it can serve as a news platform, educational site, advertisement, forum, etc. But the main question here is how to access these sites. It's simple. When you connect your computer to the internet, you can easily see and access a website on a web browser application. But remember, a web browser is not the internet itself. It is only an application that shows websites available on the internet. In the next part of the video, we will discuss the benefits and history of the internet. If you wish to learn more about the internet, then keep watching the video. Benefits of using the internet. The benefits of the internet are as follows. First, easy communication. Sharing and connecting options from anywhere we want and at any time. Good knowledge. Access to a large base of knowledge, information and education. Expand the business. A chance to sell service and expand the business over an online platform. Unlimited source. Get an unlimited source of entertainment such as music, movies, videos and games. Control devices. Access the Internet of Things that let you control devices and applications to smartphones and computers. Easy to work from home. To be able to work from home and collaborate easily with the global workforce. Access cloud storage. The ability to access cloud storage for easy sharing and storing data. Access cards easily. Access personal accounts like bank accounts and credit cards instantly. The history of the internet. The internet was first introduced in the 1960s to enable government researchers to pass information to one another. As computers in the 60s were heavy and oversized, they could not be carried easily. As a result, to access the information stored in one computer, researchers have to travel to the computer's location. The other option was to send magnetic computer tapes through a traditional post system. 
Another reason which acts as a significant cause in the emergence of the internet was the Cold War. This eventually resulted in the formation of ARPANET or Advanced Research Project Agency Network. No doubt, ARPANET was a great success, but unfortunately, the access was only limited to persons in contacts with the defense system. Thus, the ARPANET evolved to the internet to allow other networks to share information as well. So, the official birthday of the internet is celebrated on January 1st, 1983. Before this, the different computer networks did not have a common way to communicate with one another. So, a communication tool was brought into the world known as Transfer Control Protocol, TCP, or Internet Protocol, IP. This protocol allowed computers to talk to each other. So, after the birth of the internet, ARPANET and Defense Network changed the standards to TCP IP to connect with networks through a universal language. In 1985, the National Science Foundation Network or NSFS upgraded the network to connect the computer science departments of universities around the globe. Communication around the world kept on improving until a revolution took place in 1989. It was the year when hypertext transfer protocol was introduced, giving the platform the accessibility to connect easily to different internet sites. The internet has kept growing and evolving over the years. For instance, IPv6 was designed to identify the extent of future expansion in the number of IP addresses available. Relatively, the IoT is the rapidly evolving environment in which an object or entity can be accessed with a UID and can pass information automatically over the internet. Learn more and keep watching the video as we are going to discuss how the internet works, working on the internet. At this point, you will be wondering how the internet works. To make the answer simple for you, let's see the internet as the worldwide network of physical cables. These cables include TV cables, telephone, wires, and fiber optic cables. You will be surprised to know even the wireless connection like 3G, 4G, and Wi-Fi connection relies on these physical cables to connect to the internet. So when you visit a site, the computer you're using requests these wires to send information to the server. As discussed before, a server is a place where data is stored which works exactly like a computer's hard drive. Once the server accepts the request, information on the site is retrieved and correct information is sent back to the computer within seconds. To dig deeper, it is essential to understand that the internet uses a part of the total resource in the public telecommunication system. However, the primary thing that differentiates the internet from others is the set of protocols it uses. That is, transmission control protocol, Internet network protocol. Even the two recent IT adjustments, the extranet and the intranet, also use TCP IP protocol. The internet transmits a large variety of information and media throughout different interconnected devices. It functions by using a packet routing network that uses TCP and IP. Both the protocol works together to make sure the data being transmitted over the internet is reliable and consistent no matter the device you are using. When someone sends data across the internet, it is delivered to the recipient system in the form of messages and packets. To be precise, data sent across the internet is known as messages, but it is converted into tiny pieces called packets before they are sent. These packets or messages travel from one system to another using TCP transfer control protocol and IP or internet protocol. I'm wondering what IP is. It is a set of rules that regulates how information travels from one system to another over the internet connection. Using an IP address, the IP system receives other information on how to transfer the data. In addition, transfer the control protocol or TCP coordinates with IP to make sure the transfer is taking place reliably and safely. Keep watching the video to learn more about the different infrastructures that make the internet work. What are the different infrastructures that make the internet work? 
there are different infrastructures or hardware that make the internet work. This is because networks are a group of devices connected to one another. The modern network that forms the internet includes router, switches, web servers. First, router. The router is a system that connects multiple networks together. The main job of the router is to forward packets to various computer networks keeping in mind their destination. It is much like carrying the job of a traffic cop which makes sure that information is going in the right direction. Second, switches. Switches are the connecting point of different devices. They perform packet switching to transfer the packet to the respective device. In addition, they also forward outbound packets from different devices and pass them to the correct destination. Third, web servers. In simple terms, web servers are revolutionary high-powered computers that record and serve content like images, videos, and web pages to users. Apart from this, it also hosts applications and databases. In addition, servers also help resolve DNS queries and perform essential tasks to maintain the internet connection and running. A large number of servers are kept in data centers and are installed in various parts of the world. What is the relation with the usage of the internet? As we now know, the message is sent over the internet piece by piece in the form of several packets. These packets are transmitted over the cable through the routers and switches with the help of the web servers. The recipient's smartphone or computer receives these packets and passes them to the system's browser. As a result, the browser interprets the packet's data and displays the text containing them. The steps that are followed during the process involve First, DNS query. When a browser initiates the process of loading the web page, it first makes a DNS query to get information on the IP address of the website. Second, TCP handshake. Next, the browser forms a connection with the respective IP address. Third, TLS handshake. The browser also forms encryption between your device and the server. Fourth, HTTP request. Afterwards, your browser makes a request to show the content that pops up on the web page. Fifth, HTTP response. The web server transmits the data in the form of CSS, HTML, and JavaScript code divided into several small data packets. The internet is taking over the world, and to know about the future aspects of the internet, keep watching the video till the end. The future of the internet. We are standing at the initial point of a new era, which is known as the digitized world. The continuous interconnection of every device shows a single goal of making things automatic and abstract. For this reason, constant development is taking place in existing technologies. Also, new approaches are being integrated into the software, infrastructure and services. As a result of such drastic development, it is expected that we will experience the following revolution. Internet will be automatic and permanent. There is no doubt that we require the internet wherever we go. Thus, we dial up the second long process by feeding in a Wi-Fi password for the required location. However, connectivity will be made constant and straightforward in the near future until no physical connection is necessary. This will eventually reduce the worries of bad connection and service outages. Second, the machine will carry the entire task. In today's era, also a large portion of manual work is undertaken by machines. As a result, they are starting to carry high level and excellent work like writing. This, when combined with the universality of the internet, will make our work less and we will be able to access the resource directly. Third, Internet of Things will become even more advanced. The Internet of Things already allows us to connect to our alarm clocks, refrigerators, and other household appliances. In the next 15 years, it will be possible for us to extend the connection to wallets, vehicles, health systems, and even paper currency. The good news is, it is easier. It will be to transfer information. The more freedom and power we will have over the Internet. Virtual reality and the augmented system will be in demand. Mobile allows us to access the internet whenever we want. But the next generation device will embed the internet 
into the virtual world in the face of augmented reality. For those who don't know what augmented reality is, it is an enhanced version of the physical world. You can achieve this through the use of digital elements, sensory stimuli and sound elements. Summing up, the formation of the internet was a great accomplishment that was only possible after combining the efforts of thousands of organizations and individuals. The function of the internet has expanded over the years and is still increasing to simplify the living of individuals and to make work effortless. Moreover, it has made communication between individuals easy by supporting various social media platforms. We believe that our session on the internet has made you feel a little more comfortable about navigating the online space. Hope you guys enjoyed the video on how does internet work. Please don't forget to like and share this video. For any queries, comment below and we will get right back to you. Thank you.